Hi guys, welcome back to Afro Beauty Brands channel. I'm excited again as usual to be here with you. Uh, if it's your first time, please enjoy the content. Uh, on this channel, we share hair care tips and um, how to achieve protective hairstyles. Uh, without wasting your time, my name is Irene um, and let's get into part two of why do we mask, why do we use a hair mask? We did part one last week if you haven't had a chance to watch that video please do so because then part two will make even more sense okay looking back we um i will not go through a summary of uh, last week's um video but i'll just say uh we looked at what is a mask the difference between a mask and a conditioner um and the benefits of using a mask that was last week's video in this week's video we will look at how to choose a mask, the, the right mask that suits your hair or your hair need at that time, because the needs do vary. Sometimes you want to hydrate your hair, sometimes you want to um, detoxify your hair or your scalp, actually. So um, you do not use one type of mask all the time. We will look into that in detail uh, very soon. We will also look at the do do's and don'ts of using masks, okay? Um, we looked at a mask. Let's go back to the definition of a mask. First of all, a hair mask is, it, is a hair treatment that deeply nourishes your hair, okay? It restores it, but it's a long-term process to happen. And in the last video, I compared a mask to having great nutrition for your body. So you're nourishing your hair um, strands, let's put it that way, okay? going back to how you choose a mask so it depends on what's going on with your hair let me put it like that for some people they're trying to tame uh, freeze especially for my curly friends if you have very curly hair it tends to freeze so uh, you could be masking to help with that for other people it's to hydrate their hair they have a problem with um, very low moisture or not being able to um, retain moisture and so they need to mask their hair to kind of highly hydrate their hair for others it could be um an oily scalp and they're trying to get rid of all that excess oil but all of those things put together you're nourishing your hair so for me i would say a general reason to mask your hair is to generally give it the best nutrition possible Okay, especially the ends. The ends tend to suffer. Say you have dry hair because you have been coloring it a lot or putting it through, um, he applying heat while styling it. Masking is great for your hair care roots. So this is how you choose a mask. If you have very dry hair, you'll choose a mask that has nutrients that are very highly hydrating or moisturizing. Okay, and I'll just put it like that because masks, ingredients in masks vary. They do vary. Uh, we also talked about using different oils, especially plant-based oils. Those are great. Those are great oils to use when you're doing your masks. Uh, and now I'm talking about the DIY masks you could put together at home. Uh, there's also a video where I showed you how to put together a hydrating mask. It was a banana, an avocado, aloe vera, um, and you could put honey those ingredients put together would be a typical mask for um, dry hair so that helps to hydrate all of those things do hydrate and then I put some coconut oil I'll point you back or put a link to that video as well in case you want to try if you have dry hair and you want to try that mask that's the video to watch but they are various masks put together I also know that some of you my viewers um, probably do buy your products off the counter so i would encourage you to read the labels uh, don't just buy any mask that looks good but but try to read uh, the labels and see is this a moisturizing one is this uh, a hydrating one is if you had extra grease or excess oil on your scalp just to create a balance so uh, be careful yeah i'm sure you get the point so going back to if you want to hydrate dry damaged hair again i'm reading from my list because this is so important i do not want you to miss anything 
if you want to hydrate dry damaged hair then you need to use an intensely nourishing mask if you want to combat grease then you can best on the uh, the clear masks now I want to put a disclaimer there I'm not saying that clear masks are not moisturizing or softening they are but it depends on the ingredients that you include in the clay with the clay okay so I want you to note that when I say that if you want to create a balance on your scalp you can try you can use clay masks it's because um, usually if you have excess oil that means probably your hair is uh, highly moisturized or it produces extra oil as opposed to others so what you would do to create a balance is to use a clay mask this yeah. kind of mask you do not keep on your hair or your scalp for so long this is also depending on what the ingredients are if you're using a clay mask to moist I'm going slower because there's a point there to moisturize your hair you need to um, the ingredients will be different you'll have extra you will have uh, plant-based oils in that clay for instance you could have a clay uh, in, as an ingredient there are different types of clay so I'm not going into that so when I say clay uh, it could be a different type of clay and then you can include um, things like olive oil avocado oil almond oil so that will be extra moisturizing at the end of the day uh, even though there is clay and that kind of uh, mask can stay a little longer not too long but a little longer if your hair is extra dry personally I would say keep away from the clay masks based on other just hydrating or moisturizing masks okay I think you get it so moving along if you have curly hair it tends to freeze yeah I have fussy hair it tends to freeze and all that highly moisturizing uh, masks are wonderful for my hair okay so um, going back to what we said choosing a mask depends on the need of your hair okay another thing to share with you is that moisturizing masks are usually uh, best most moisturizing masks uh, usually have plant-based oils so plant-based oils are really really good to use with our DIYs and I think as you have noticed most DIYs for hair masks or hair treatments will have coconut oil they'll have avocado oil they'll have olive oil almond oil sesame oil and the list goes on I mean the list is long yeah so if you want to really really moisturize your hair with a hair treatment those are the, the go-to oil so moving on to the do's and don'ts for the don'ts do not use too much product when you're masking your hair you do not need too much product um, when I say too much product I'm not saying putting together too much product I mean applying too much product to your hair just enough but if you know that um, one side of your hair is usually much drier than the other say for instance your aim is to uh, highly hydrate your uh, your hair or your curls then please go ahead and apply a little bit more on that side just enough is always good and unless your scalp is really if your scalp is really dry say for instance and you're trying to highly or moisturize you know highly moisturize your hair with a mask it's not a bad idea to apply um, a mask onto your scalp so different rules different things depending on what you're trying to achieve I'm going to repeat this if you have very dry scalp and very dry hair it's okay for you to use a moisturizing or hydrating mask and apply it to your scalp as well not too much just enough okay but if you were um, if you are the type who has excess oil on your scalp then I would not advise you to put moisturizing mask on your scalp if you see what I mean you would apply your mask midway because if you look at it it's usually the ends of our hair that suffer the damage so 
it's okay to just do it uh, right before the scalp, not touching the scalp. Then cover your whole head and then um, leave it on for however time you want. Okay? That's if it's not a clay mask. A clay mask, I wouldn't advise you to leave it on for more than 20 minutes. Or slightly more, but not, let's say not more than 30 minutes. Whereas for a moisturizing um, mask, you can leave it on and even have it, you know, go to bed with it and wash it out the following day. Okay, so don't go cheap on your mask because remember you're nourishing your hair, okay? Give it the best products uh, depending on what you're looking for. Uh, don't overdo your masking. Some people uh, can get overexcited. Uh, I've had people ask me how many times should I mask. Once a week is good. If you can't do once a week, I think twice a week is, uh, sorry, twice a month is good. That's enough. And then, you know, you're, you're at the same time, you're looking at your hair and seeing the change, watching how it responds to these masks. And then you will see, um, you know, it grow and flourish. Yeah. If you overdo it, then it will start to weigh down your hair because then you start to get into the product build up and then your hair is weighed down. It's all covered and it defeats the purpose because then that means if your hair is weighed down it's covered with more product then it's not able to get the nutrients that it needs okay um my last don't is don't apply it to dry hair um we covered this in our last video part one the way to apply your mask is you wash your hair remember the shampoo cleanses the hair wash your hair and then apply your mask and then follow that up with a conditioner okay that's how you do it so moving on to the do's for hydrating masks or moisturizing masks it's okay to leave it on for longer in fact i would advise you to leave it on for longer because the longer you leave it on the more benefits you reap from the mask another do number two for masks is try to alternate your masks so then you maximize the benefits of what you're getting you know you maximize the benefits uh of the nutrients that your hair is getting from these masks one time you could do one that uh replenishes and then the other time you could do something that moisturizes okay but again you should know your hair better anytime you do these hair care routines i highly highly encourage people to watch your hair see how it reacts to everything that you do to it and that should give you a go ahead on what your next step should be so if you say i used a moisturizing mask this time uh, watch how it reacts within two weeks look at how your hair looks like does it need um a clear mask does it need a hydrating mask you know it depends on what's been going on and what your hair has been exposed to so what am i saying i'm saying that you might you will end up not having the same mask all the time like a moisturizing 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 you could go months uh, using a moisturizing mask because that's what your hair needs but maybe three months down the line you might need a change so that change does not need to be on a weekly basis the change does not need to be like every month the change is dependent on what your hair is asking you. Um, that's why I'm encouraging you to watch your hair and see what it needs. What is it thirsty for? Okay. So my last do is that I would encourage you to use your mask and steam while that mask is in your hair. That's very beneficial. That steam helps it to really penetrate uh, your hair, your scalp, and then, you know, give you the best results uh that's all i had for this week i hope you have gained something from this and i always want to hear testimonies of somebody who tried it and what they thought um otherwise thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe remember this week we are celebrating 
uh, video that made the 1K. Yay! Uh, I will see you next week with another topic and have a blessed week. Goodbye.